Hello and welcome to a new video on the Crypto2 YouTube channel in the Classical Cypher series. In this video I want to show you how you can create a grill cipher. And I also want to show you how you can create a grill cipher on your own with your hands. I structured this video into different parts. In the first part I want to give you a short history of the grill cipher. Then I want to show you how does a grill cipher work. After that I will show you how you can create your own turning grill cipher by hand. And finally, I want to show you the grill cipher in Java Crypt tool. A grill cipher is a transposition cipher. And it consists of a pierced paper or cardboard, which is then used as a tool. And the letters that are then transposed are written through the holes. How this works, you will see on the next slides. And the first mentioning of the grill cipher was by Girolamo Cardano in 1550. And in 189, Johann Ludwig Kleuber also describes the cipher in his book Kryptographic Lehrbuch der Geheimschreibekunst. And finally, in 1880, Eduard Baron Fleissner von Wostrowitz describes the turning grill cipher, which is an yeah, extension of the classical grill cipher. And his variant was later used by the Germans in World War II. And yeah, the turning grills are often named after him. So they are called in German Fleissner Schablone. Yeah, and finally, grill ciphers were also used, for example, in the 18th century by the Dutch. On the right side here, I put a picture of Girolamo Cardamo, who lived from 1501 to 1576. So how does the grill cipher actually work? And as I already said, a grill cipher is built using a piece of paper or cardboard. So this here on the right side is yeah, a piece of paper or a cardboard. And yeah, the first thing that you do when you want to construct a grill is you punch some holes into that card at specific positions, like yeah, these circles here are holes. And then you write the secret message through the holes. For instance, here we have secret. So S-E-C-R-E-T. You always read this from left to right, from top to bottom. So this is the first letter, the second letter, the third, and so on. Then you remove the grill. And finally, for instance, you add some yeah, random letters to hide your message. So the first grill ciphers were not actually ciphers, they were more or less some kind of steganography method. And yeah, as I said, random letters are filled. And to read the original message, of course, you need the same grill. So you put the grill back on the letters that you received, and then you see the secret message again. And yeah, how was this used? For instance, this was used to hide a key, for instance, for polyalphabetic encryption, like the Visionaire cipher. So how was this used? Uh, the receiver, for instance, received this, yeah, random letters here, or it looks like random letters. He put on his grill, then he got the secret key, in this case secret, and then he used this secret key to actually decrypt another message, for instance, encrypted with the Visionaire cipher. So let's create our own grill and in fact we will create a turning grill and as I already said the turning grill is an enhancement which allowed to bring more plain text on yeah, the paper. And we will construct now a turning grill with 6x6 six six, yeah, um, fields by hand and we will also encrypt the text using this. And when you want to create this on your own by hand you need the following things. You need of course some paper and some cardboard. You need a ruler. You need something to punch or cut holes into the cardboard, for instance, a knife or scissors. And of course, you need a pen or a pencil. And clearly, sender and receiver need the same grill for encryption and decryption. So you probably also should create two grills when you want to use it, for instance, with someone else. So how do we start? The first step is that you create a 3-3 subgrid on a paper and enter random numbers from 1 to 4. And each of these numbers represent holes of all four subgrids. So you have one subgrid here, then you have another subgrid on the left side, so this is the first subgrid, then you have the second subgrid, the third subgrid, and the fourth subgrid. But in the first step you only create yeah, this here, and this is also only needed as a node, so this is not actually part of our grill. We will need this to construct the grill. 
and the, the digits here, the numbers from one to four, they specify one of the subgrids. So the one is for the first subgrid, the two for the second, the third for the third, third subgrid, and the four is for the fourth subgrid. And to construct it this way, yeah, we uh, make sure that when we have our final grid, no hole of a subgrid will overlap with another hole of another subgrid. You will see how this works when we construct it. Yeah, and uh, the structure of our creation is now that step one to six here are the creation of the grill, which what you could also yeah, name key generation, and step seven to eleven are the writing of the message through the grill, yeah, which is the encryption. So let's go to the next step. And in step two, you create the grill as a 6-6 six, six grid on a cardboard. So for that, you, for instance, need the ruler, you create such a grid. Make sure that the length and the height are yeah, the same, because we want to turn it by 19 degrees and then, of course, everything should fit. So create a 6-6 six, six grid on cardboard. In the next step, you punch a hole into all squares in the upper left subgrid, where we have a 1 in the small square. So this here is a subgrid. This is the first subgrid here, three by three. And as you can see here, we have a small one here and a small one there. So you make a hole in this yeah, uh, part of the subgrid, and then you make a second hole in this part of the subgrid. So let's go to the next step. You now turn the grill by 19 degrees to the right. So you see our first yeah, subgrid that was here is now here. The ones are these holes here. And now you punch a hole into all squares in the upper left subgrid, where we have a 2 in the small square. So you see here a 2 and here a 2, this green yeah, twos here. And you create two holes, one here and one there. And surprisingly, in the next step, we again rotate the grid or the grill by 19 degrees. And now, yeah, surprisingly, we put in the 3 as holes. So we have here a hole and here a hole, where we have here a 3 and here a 3. Yeah, and <laughs> you probably already know, in the last step, we rotate the yeah, grid uh, once more to the right by 19 degrees, and we put in the missing fours here. So we have here a four, here a four, and here a four, so we put here holes at the positions of the four. Yeah, and this is our grid. So we have four steps, uh, one for the first uh, yeah, um, holes, then the second, the third and the fourth. And the construction, uh, or doing the construction this way, yeah, we take sure, we make sure that we only have holes that don't overlap. So let's go to the encryption. And step seven is that we want to encrypt or write the first part of our message. So our message here is, this is a secret message. And we write, of course, since we have now nine holes, the first nine letters of our message into the grid. So this is a C, so SE is a, are the two last letters of our message. And we write T, H, I, S, this is a C. So you also write from left yeah, to right and from up to down. In the next step, of course, we turn the grill now by 19 degrees and we write the second part of our message, which starts with C and ends with A. So we have C-R-E-T-M-E-S-S-A. -S -S and this is secret messe. And now we come to the yeah, last part of writing our message. So we have the G and E as last letters. So we have the G and the E. And now we have some yeah, holes where we do not have yeah, letters. And what we will do is we will just write random letters. So write an X, an A, for instance, an E, K, N, E, G. So, yeah, and this is not part of our message, but we have to put these in, why we will see on later slides. Yeah, and then, of course, we have the last rotation. And since we have nothing left from our message that we can write in, we also write in random letters. So you just choose some letters, R, X, E, A, N, and so on, and you put these into the remaining or into all holes. Yeah, and in the last step, we remove the grill and then we read out the cipher text. So after removing the grill, you will have on your paper, yeah, letters that yeah, seem to yeah, be random. And our message, of course, is hidden in this random yeah, letters. And to get the cipher text, we just read from left to right. So we have T, R, G, E, and so on. And yeah, this is from left to right, from up to down 
our encrypted message. And the receiver, of course, who wants to know decrypts this message, he writes down also it in such a grid, and then he puts his grill on top of it. Or he receives the message that you wrote down with your grill, and then they are also or already in the correct position. And then he only sees the letters that he sees through the holes. And so he can just read T, H, I, S, and so on, and he can then turn the grill and read out the message. Yeah. And this is how you can create your own grill by hand. I think it's really easy and straightforward. And you also saw how you can encrypt and decrypt using the grill. So now let's have a look at a more modern tool for creation and using grills. And yeah, actually we have a nice implementation of a turning grill in Java Crypt tool. And we also have a nice implementation of the crypt analysis of a turning grill cipher in Java Crypt tool. So let's us have a look at these in Java Crypt tool. I'm here now in Java Crypt tool and I want to show you our grill analysis and the grill cipher. And to go to the grill cipher, you go to the crypto explorer, then you select the analysis tab here, and then you have here the grill analysis. Double click it. And then you can put it in the middle of the screen. And I will close this and close this, make a little more space. And here we have the grill analysis. And in the top part of the grill analysis, you, for instance, could write a plain text. So um, instead of using an example ciphertext here, um, I will use my own or will create my own ciphertext. And to do this, I go here to encryption and then I remove the example text here. Ah, no, I have to change it to enter own plain text manually. And then I will write down a text. Hello, this is spaces. This is a plain text which we use for the grill cipher. And then our key length here is three. And I want to have a random key. And with a random key, or let, let's make the key a little bigger, random key, so. And it automatically generates a key for you. But of course, you can also change the key by unselecting a hole or selecting holes. And then I want to perform the encryption and you, I just click on start here and then I get the cipher text. And I can mark the text and copy. And I want to make decryption. And then I, I can change here the cipher text and I can just start the decryption. And then you see, hello, this is the plain text which we use for the grill cipher. And then it automatically adds random letters at the end of yeah, the cipher text. And now let's change the grill a little and also make a decryption. And then you see when you have the wrong grill cipher or the wrong grill, then you get, of course, not the correct plain text. And the more it is wrong, yeah, the more wrong is the decrypted plain text. Now let's have a look at the analysis of the grill cipher. So we have a hill climber implemented in Java Crypt tool that can be used for yeah, breaking. And I will use an example yeah, um, cipher text here. So for instance, a Wikipedia cipher text. And then I want to have the analysis. I have my cipher text here. And you can just start the analysis here. And then in this window here, you see with Lange 4, we don't get a key. Or we don't, can we, we cannot solve the grill with Lange 4. Okay, I will, I will make it a little bigger. Okay, so what do we see here? The analysis results, text file, key length is four, restarts is five, language is English. Ah, I'm wrong, it, it found the actual correct key. The so increasing tendency to privilege and so on. So yeah, this also works. So let's test the bigger key, so bigger grill. So we make encryption here take ah we have to first select the key of course then we can create
create here our text. I will just keep the text I have here. And I want to have a bigger grill. And then I start the encryption. So we have here now our encrypted text. And I go to the analysis tab. And I will also an analyze it with KeyLand 5. And I start it. <laughs> As you can see, it's really fast. It really solves this yeah, grills in nearly no time. Of course, you can go to bigger grills. I don't know what are the limits of this analysis. You could try these by your own. And yeah, as you see, Java Crypto has a really nice grill implementation where you can create grills, where you can encrypt, where you can decrypt, and also where you can make crypt analysis of the grill cipher. So I hope you like this small introduction to grill ciphers and maybe you want to create your own grill cipher by hand and you can follow my instructions. And if you like the video, I would appreciate if you give a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you know what to do, give a thumbs down. And I also would appreciate if you did not yet subscribe to this channel, that you subscribe. This would really help to grow the channel and to make Crypto2 more popular. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.